it was by complete chance I was very fortunate to have a lovely holiday in South Africa and I was out in Hermanus whale watching uh, just outside Cape Town and I met the most gorgeous girl called Mandy Bethaldo from Zimbabwe and she was making these beautiful chocolate chess sets and lovely truffles and amazing creations and I was just fascinated so instead of lying by the pool or down on the beach looking at the whales like a normal human I spent the entire two weeks in the kitchen of the hotel with Mandy learning everything that she had learned. I was in my little stable flat kitchen in the wing of Carton House in Maynooth and it was a beautiful place to live, very inspirational. I had a tiny kitchen and I was doing well at this stage. The family were beginning to, you know, say, my gosh, these are gorgeous. And I was beginning to have a vision that maybe I, I was really onto something here and I ha had a lovely business going forward. But what to call the company? And not being the brightest at coming up with names, there was this little creature crawling around the floor that used to drive me mad because I used to have to stop and pick her up and play with her. Of course, it was my first child who was called Lily. So that's where the name was born. So 1995, one of our first main milestones was we won the Aer Lingus contract, which was huge at that stage and very big to us, where we were, they were using two million two-chock boxes all over Europe and over on the American transatlantic routes, and about three million little mints on the back of the plane. We won all of that business, which then gave me the confidence to head to Heathrow. Can you imagine if I said, well, I, I make these screws that help keep the wheels on wheelbarrows, or I'm in the insurance business, I insure frogs' legs as they're shipping around the world. They'd say, oh, how interesting. I'd say, no, I make chocolate. I've got a chocolate factory. Oh my God, the reaction from people. It's like, it is magic, and it's magical to people. We are the real thing. I mean, it's Mary Ann and the team. We're in Newbridge. Everything is made in Newbridge. We buy everything Irish where we possibly can. And we plan to be here for the long way, forever. There'll never be any of Lily O'Brien's moving to China or Eastern Europe to try and make it cheaper, whatever. We're an indigenous Irish family business, and that's the way we plan to be. The team and I, we are always looking at trends all over the world. We're looking at chefs. We're looking at different movements or how the consumer, what they want or how they're moving. And, you know, believe it or not, we are all the time looking at bringing the chocolates in a different direction. So we sit down weekly and we think, where can we go next? We try and just look at the blue sky and think, where can we bring chocolate next? When I began making chocolate, I just said to myself, the first thing I've got to do is use a really superior, fantastic chocolate, and then started to dream about what we could mix and what recipes we could come up with that would be different, you know, whether it was with desserts or with the honeycomb or with the soft caramel, that would really give people pleasure and just, oh my gosh. Our customers love Lily O'Brien's. They absolutely love them. And we in Lily O'Brien's are passionate about chocolate.